thought it might be interesting for you to um, define or explain mindfulness from an early Buddhist perspective, because I think we're going to be very surprised at how in the Mahamudra tradition, it's, it's, it's quite similar. So if you could start us off with um, explaining from early Buddhism, this idea of mindfulness and what it means. That's a question where I should either say nothing or talk for hours. <laughs> <laughs> How could I know? <laughs> yes. What is mindfulness? My best friend, we have been spending so many years together and still I don't really know her, you know. <laughs> yeah, so the understanding of mindfulness again differs in traditions. The early Buddhist understanding of mindfulness is much more of an open, receptive kind of awareness, which can coexist with wholesome and unwholesome mental states. <coughs> the entire tradition changes that and mindfulness becomes much more a pointed, almost focusing kind of quality that is entirely confined to wholesome states. And the Sarvastivada Abhidharma tradition changes this and mindfulness becomes something that is present in every state of mind, thereby becomes kind of fused with attention, with manasikara. But in early Buddhism, mindfulness is something that you have to intentionally arouse. It's not always there. And its most defining qualities to my personal understanding is this presence with what is, without immediately reacting, this openness, kind of like a broad range field of attention rather than a focus. It has a protective dimension because when we are with mindfulness, we are protected. A very important dimension of mindfulness is to be embodied, whole body awareness, just now talking to you, trying to be my whole body. And it is liberating because through mindfulness, we see how things truly are. And just as a last uh, lead over to modern day, the finding of my friend Judson Brewer, who's been using mindfulness to teach people how to stop smoking. And they were not able to stop before with other methods. They practice mindfulness, they smoke, they go, this tastes horrible. Why am I doing this? And they stop. That's mindfulness. So we could say, um, you're saying that mindfulness is about awareness of the present moment rather than like a recollection. Is that accurate? The memory recollection, the memory connotation of mindfulness should not be foregrounded in the way it is sometimes being done. I've written about that extensively. And it is simply because we do not really have a particular clear understanding of memory formulated in early Buddhist discourse. But mindfulness is the quality that enables memory. When something is happening, if I'm mindful, I can store it in memory. When I need to remember through mindfulness, I can access that information. But mindfulness itself is not memory. Mindfulness, particularly as a feature of the Noble Eightfold Path, is very much about the present moment. 